Here's a non-standard way to find the sum of the first n odd positive integers using areas. The sum of the first n odd positive integers, 1 plus 3 plus 5, and so on, up to 2n minus 1, can be represented by an array of 1 by 1 squares like this, where the first row has 1 square, the second row has 3 squares, and so on, all the way down until the very last row, which has 2n minus 1 squares. This array has a height of size n and a base of size 2n minus 1 like this. To find the area of this array, we can cut it into pieces using this diagonal line of slope negative 1 half, starting at the bottom right corner of the top square. We can use that line to break the diagram up into a variety of rectangular and triangular pieces as shown here. First, on the left side, we see a 1 by n rectangle. The triangle in the middle is 2n minus 2 by n minus 1, and the n minus 1 triangles on the right are all 2 by 1 triangles. The rectangle has an area of n times 1, or n. The large triangle has an area of 1 half n minus 1 times 2n minus 2, which is n minus 1 times n minus 1, or n squared minus 2n plus 1. And finally, the n minus 1 triangles on the right all have an area of 1 half times 1 times 2, or 1. Combining these areas together, we get that the sum of the first n odd positive integers is n plus n squared minus 2n plus 1 plus n minus 1. But this simplifies to n squared, and therefore the sum of the first n odd positive integers is n squared. To write this more compactly, we have that the sum where k ranges from 1 to n of 2k minus 1 must equal n squared. This is a classic formula, but we proved it using areas of rectangles and triangles.